welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and like this video for more cooking from my kitchen. Today I'm going to be dealing with apples. Um, it is apple season. I was hoping to go apple picking actually and then it just didn't happen because there were a lot of fires in Southern California and I feel that that might have affected some of the places that are normally open for apple picking. At any rate, you can find many different varietals of apples in the stores now. So whether you use Granny Smith, Fuji, Macintosh, whatever you choose, mix and match if you'd like. Um, I'm going to be sauteing the apples and then I'm going to be wrapping it in some phyllo dough. So let me show you what I use, but this is gonna be pretty short and sweet. So for my ingredients, I'm gonna use three large apples. I am gonna peel them, core them, and dice them. I also have some brown sugar that I'm going to be using, as well as some cinnamon, a little bit of butter, and some lemon. butter this is actually about maybe one to one and a half tablespoons I am NOT looking to do a caramel here I'm just looking to cook the apples so I don't want a lot of liquid and now I've dropped my apples in I I just want to kind of get this tossed so that they get somewhat coated And then I'm also going to do a little bit of brown sugar just to enhance some of the sweetness. I'm also going to do a pinch of salt and then some cinnamon. And this is gonna cook down a, somewhat. You do want the apples to become tender. And now you can add different spices. I am actually gonna add one more thing. Um, this is a star anise. I'm not quite sure if you could see that. But I'm just gonna toss one in. I'm gonna leave it whole. And this will just add a bit of an anise flavor in the background. Um, you don't have to put this in, it is optional. But you can play around with the spices. If you wanted to add clove, you can do that. If you wanted to add some nutmeg, maybe allspice, um, you know, any kind of like a warming sweet spice, definitely add it if it's to your taste but you do want to consider your audience if you're making it for somebody else and maybe they're like uncomfortable with some flavors you know I, I try to please everyone especially if I'm taking something to somebody's house um, you know <laughs> it's uh, it's in good form to at least attempt to make something that people will eat if you do things too different it may not be in their range and they may not feel comfortable so the apples are cooking down quite nicely and I added just a little bit more cinnamon. I think I might start to leave this uncovered now. I have this covered so that the steam can help cook the apple, but I do want some of this liquid to cook off. Now the other thing that I want to do is start setting up my assembly line. Um, I have gone ahead and melted some butter and this is going to be to brush on top of the pillow and in between any sheets. So that I got done and set aside. So the important thing with phyllo dough is that you don't want it to dry out. So I have a kitchen towel or like a kitchen napkin and this is going to be to cover it as I'm working. And I've just 
put it under the faucet and wrung the excess water out. Um, I don't know how many I'm gonna make. I'm not quite certain yet how much this is gonna yield to what I wanna do. Um, okay, so this filler package is actually two in one, which is nice because sometimes you don't wanna use both. So we're gonna start with one and I'll see how many this will make. The other thing I've done, I started to preheat my oven to 350. Okay, so this is my dough. These are just sheets upon sheets of phyllo. I'm gonna divide this into thirds because um, I actually wanna make these on the smaller side. So I kind of score the dough first. If you have a ruler, you can use it. It's not necessary. A good sharp knife is beneficial here. And then I'm gonna stack these up. And then <clears throat> what I'm actually gonna do, um, since this will fit into my, my towel, I'm gonna lay it so it hits the bottom of the napkin and then I can cover it as well. So I have my filo dough ready, I have my butter ready, and I have my apples ready. One more thing I'm gonna prep really quick is some turbinado sugar. So this is just a uh, largely granulated sugar and this will be for the top. I'm not gonna use all of this, I just wanna have it ready. And after you use the star anise, just fish it out. Same thing with cloves, you don't want anything to be really hard. So this is very similar to a baklava if you've ever made it. If not, don't worry because with the holidays coming, I am probably going to be making it. Okay, so it's gonna take maybe a couple of times before you get the hang of it, but what you're gonna wanna do is use two, no more than three sheets of phyllo and this is going to depend on the thickness of the phyllo that you're using but you're going to grab one sheet and you want to work as quickly as possible because it does dry out pretty fast um, you're going to lay a piece down brush it with a bit of butter not too much but you do want a little bit um, that will create like the flakiness and then brush the second piece and you're gonna make this into triangles. So that'll be like the easiest way to do it. Um, don't overstuff, but you do wanna put some apple like in a corner and then go diagonal. You could press it down to seal if you'd like, and then go the other way, and then go the other way, and then like so. I, I'm not explaining this as well as it should be, but um, this will create layers of dough, so that will make it flaky. And then you're gonna lay it seam side down on your prepared baking sheet. this with melted butter and the butter you know don't stress if it's not looking perfect 
the butter does act as a bit of a glue. It will make it turn nice and golden brown. It will aid in the crispiness. So it's hard to mess this up. And then to the top, just sprinkle some sugar. And remember that phyllo dough is not sweet, so I did not put that much sugar on top of the apples. This will add a little bit of sweetness as well as a little bit of crunchiness. And it's ready to go in the oven until it turns golden brown so I'm gonna keep an eye on this I'm gonna guess it's about 20 to 25 minutes it might be a little longer so they're still pretty fresh out of the oven um, I do want to taste test this even though I've tasted the filling before I rolled it this was the first one that I formed so you can tell it's not like it's not great um, but it should still taste just as good sometimes if the dough splits while baking that's fine I wouldn't you know make such a big deal about it it's really hot Phyllo dough loves butter and sugar and nuts, but that'll be another video. Um, so the butter makes it super crispy and flaky. I'm gonna try it. Oh, if you can see, like all the layers that have been turned around are now flaky. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to try this out, I will have some notes in the description box, so please be sure to check that out.